out doing a little hiking today uh, just had to do a little bit of pro fire for work I came up I found this place out on some BLM land and uh, just thought after I got finished I figured I'd go take a look around a little bit so cause I hadn't been out here before so that's what I'm doing not sure if you can hear me at all because <laughs> freaking wind is howling through here so if not I apologize uh, got this new Victos jacket. It's pretty cool. It's got some big pockets on it. You can put in like AR mags and all that kind of stuff. Kind of reminds me of the Army Whoopie. <laughs> it's pretty warm though. Uh, it's about 40 degrees and the wind's blowing about 40 miles an hour right now and I'm fine. But yeah, the material, it's, it's, it's different. It's not exactly the same, but it's kind of similar to like that of the, uh, you know, it's real soft, kind of a, I don't know, nylon material or whatever. But then it's got these stretchy areas under the side and all that. So it's actually fits really cool. It's kind of neat. So I'd say this uh, this jacket's probably you know rated pretty comfortably for somewhere in the I don't know probably like 30 degrees to 65 degrees somewhere in there kind of a spring spring and fall jacket I mean it's February right now <laughs> but it's a nice day you know it's, it's warmed up a little bit so that's kind of where I would probably probably rate it. It does a pretty good job of cutting the wind. And it's got a bunch of pockets. I'll show you those when I get up here. Okay guys, so we finally got up over the ridge and I'll show you the view here in a second if my battery lasts. Uh, I just wanted to kind of show you this jacket real quick. They call it the Zero Dark Insulated Jacket. Again, it's from Victos. And uh, I will put a, this is the back side of it. And see, it's kind of a quilted, kind of like a quilted uh, thing. Like I said, it just reminds me of the of the army, uh, <laughs> the army whoopee. <laughs> but anyway, it's got got a cool uh, unconquered little uh, "Don't Tread on Me" logo on the inside. We got some big inside pockets right here on each side. We got a smaller like cell phone pocket. Then on the sides, you've got zippers on each side right where your firearm would be if you carry uh you know on your back what is it uh your, your hip basically and you know you can peel that back so you can get instant access it's got ventilations in the pits and the, the zippers go both ways actually you can do up or down uh let's see here we've got like i said these big pockets I mean, they're huge. You could put like probably four four AR mags or something like that in there. And then it's got a Velcro closure right there. And you've got, you know, nice deep pockets. You can put gloves and stuff in. It's got a uh, got a pull tie for the uh, the collar so you could tighten that up around your neck if you wanted to. I think it's even got a hood in here. I haven't I haven't even used the hood yet. Yeah, it's just got a real lightweight, you know, kind of like rain hood or whatever. Um, fits pretty good. Uh, I wear a 2X. I'm six foot, 250 pounds, and seems to fit me okay. Uh, I'd say the one thing is, is the arms might be, the sleeves might be just a touch long for me but not bad 
Um, hangs down nice enough that you can, you know, kind of conceal your firearm and stuff. It's low enough so, you know, that it'll conceal your firearm. But the, the sleeves come just a little far forward of the wrist, but, you know, maybe a half inch or something. Not bad at all. Um, pretty cool, though. They make it in a gray also. Um, so you don't have to, if you don't like the camouflage color, you can do like a gray or whatever. And that's pretty cool. But yeah, it's pretty good, man. Cause you get the, the warmth of the insulation and stuff on the, you know, the outsides and then like on the insides where your arm are and stuff and you need that flexibility so it doesn't bunch up and whatnot. Then, uh, that's kind of how it's designed. So pretty cool, man. Go check out, uh, victosgear.com. I've got one more jacket that I'm going to do on another review. Uh, coming here pretty quick. It's called the Sirius jacket, and it's kind of like a like a shell almost. You know, you could probably wear it over the top of this one as like a layering system. It'd be kind of cool. But anyway, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up. Hopefully, you'll be able to hear me. <laughs> the wind is terrible today. It's seriously like a 40 mile an hour wind. Uh, as always, I definitely appreciate it when you click the thumbs up button, when you share it with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, and Google Plus. And don't forget to live the six P's, proper prior preparation prevents poor performance. Hey, and go by and check out, the link will be in the description below to uh, check out Victos. Uh, like I said, they got a full line of outdoor gear. Uh, these guys are prior military. Uh, you know, they, they design all this stuff here in the United States. It's made overseas, but they are, you know, like I said, they're veterans. They're trying to get it, break into the industry. And they got a, a lot of different cool clothes with a lot of cool features for people who like to shoot and hunt and be outdoors and all that kind of stuff. So, um, you know, go, go check them out. You might, you might like it. I mean, it's, it's pretty cool stuff. So thanks again. I'll show you the view here real quick. All right. There's another mountain over there. I think they call that Red Mountain or something like that. It's got a pretty cool, pretty cool little vein runs through it. I don't know if I'd really call it a mountain, but it's about 8,500 feet, I think, something like that. Kind of canyon down there. And there's that rock face we just came to the other side of. Hey, uh, just a just a real quick survival tip while we're up here. It makes me think about it. If you're ever in a real situation where you got to get out of the wind, or you know you're in a real windy situation, you feel like you're getting hypothermic and all that kind of stuff, just getting to the backside of a hill like I just did here is actually a really good way, a really good place to find you know shelter locations and stuff like that. So you don't have to set your you know tent up where you're losing all your heat and everything, or your your shelter or whatever you're building it depends on your situation but uh you know exposure and hypothermia is the number one killer out in the woods so that's why it's really important having good clothes and uh, making sure you you know have the right equipment with you and making sure you pick a good location for your shelter so anyway hope that's helpful guys talk to you later